In northern Iraq's Kirkuk city, this is known as the Turkmen Martyrs Graveyard. Many of those buried here had been murdered. Munir al-Qafili was a Turkmen rights activist who was first jailed during Saddam Hussein's rule. For 20 years, his mother and I would visit him in prison and we would wait there for hours. They would search all the things we took for him as we waited in the sun, rain or bitter cold. Once out of prison, he resumed activities, demanding rights for the Turkmen community and exposing alleged government corruption. Finally, in 2014, he was assassinated. His 88-year-old father says he's unlikely to see justice served. It's been nine years since the assassination. The family has suspected a powerful politician to be behind the killing. An investigation was launched, but the findings were never made public, and now the matter has been hushed up. For decades, Iraq's Turkmen community has been complaining of unfair treatment. One of the issues has been their marginalization. Their lands were taken away from them time and time again. They were subjected to various bad policies in their areas, especially here in Kirkuk. There have been attempts to change ethnic demographics through Arabization practices here and in Mosul. Turkmen representatives say more than 100,000 agricultural sites belonging to Turkmen farmers have been occupied since the time of Saddam Hussein. Despite constitutional provisions, in practice, the community faces hindrances in implementing its own educational curriculum. The Turkmen community is also concerned about what it sees as lack of institutional representation. They say the 2003 US occupation and subsequent policies worsened the situation. The mentality of the Americans to uh, uh, deal with Iraq was uh, according to the three uh, components only, Shia, Sunnah, Kurds. Even we heard that from Biden when he was the deputy and his process is very clear when they said uh, that we cannot deal with whole of Iraq, so we will try to divide it to two confederal system, one of it for courts and then to Sunnah and the Shia. I think a very dangerous uh, process to divide Iraq. Iraqi Prime Minister Mohammad Shia al-Sudani says the upcoming provincial election will improve conditions in Kirkuk. This will be the first such poll since 2005. But not many here believe that will be the case. The Turkmen leadership is demanding major reforms. It wants changes to power-sharing formula and political equality for all groups. Anything short of that, it says, including elections, will merely be a futile public relations exercise. Hassan Abdullah, TRT World, Kirkuk, Iraq.